and the preferred reading material of millions of women, although reading this stuff isn't quite as much fun as looking at the pictures. Look, look. Ooh, love it. Don't you just want to squeeze his little cheeks? Gorgeous. <laughs> His face isn't bad either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And today, it's the men of Playgirl in the flesh, including two gorgeous general hospital stars, John J. York and Steve Burton, are here. Plus, we are going to meet three of the magazine's hottest recent centerfolds, and a lucky woman in our audience will win a date with Playgirl's man of the year. Hey, who knows? Hey, look. We're going to choose a future centerfold right here today. What do you think? Life is good, huh? Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some hunk. Are you looking at this? For heaven's sake, look at this. And you wanted to go to the Price is Right, huh? No way. What were you thinking? Well, you all were not right here. <laughs> My first two guests are going to... I thought I was going to shock you. My... <laughs> My first two guests are going to help me and kind of be like co-hosts today. You know them as Mac and Jason on General Hospital. Please welcome John J. York and Steve Burton. Oh, Here we are. Hi. Hi. Welcome back. Hi. Hi. Walk this way, okay. boys. Walk, Walk this, this way. way. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Very impressive. Did you guys pose for this magazine under duress or what? With less uh, duress. Yeah. Now you didn't really, you didn't really expose the important parts of life. No. no. You actually those. exposed more about your wife. I think I did. Uh, Vicky, actually. My wife, Vicky, yes. with an I. By the and way, a, she's right out there in the audience. And another natural redhead. That's correct. What does it mean? It's a trend. You call her your what? She's my little playboy bunny. And uh, she's, the love of my, she's the love of my life, and that's what my life is all about, is my wife and my little girl. I have a little girl, Skylar, and... Uh, yes. So thank you very much. So how did you pose? What well, I posed uh, like this, and I posed like this. But I mean, were you kind of like hiding things? Well, we had towels and jeans, and but towels. they wanted to you see some chest. And... Well, Steve, you, you... Oh, there's, there. I'm, uh, yeah, I had you, a beard at that time, too. You wow. exposed your surfboard. Yes, I have the longest surfboard in daytime. <laughs> Ouch. A longboard, if you yes, will. A long board. <laughs> yeah, it's a longboard. Yeah, it was a... Uh, it was pretty interesting. Was it? Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at that oil. Look at that guy. Were you embarrassed Jeez. at all to do this? Or? Was I embarrassed? Yeah. Uh, as long as I could keep the uh, bottom half of my clothes on, it really was okay. Has it done anything to, uh, for or against your careers at all? What's been the reaction to it? It's favorable. I think that on daytime, uh, people like to have, they like to label people. And Steve was labeled a hunk. Uh, and you get that kind of thing. So I think it kind of, it's par with the course, par with the job. It was good. It's, yeah. it was fine. Really it's good for the show. Good exposure. A uh hunk, -huh, but now, I mean, romantically, how's, how's it going? You play who on General Hospital? Jason Quartermain, the and illegitimate son, and I'm still a virgin and a millionaire. <laughs> On the this show, a, so I'm this taking. Is a, uh, this is a good catch, but you're yes. sort of having romance problems on the uh, show. Oh, I can't, I can't beg a date to save my life on what the show. What do you can't beg a date? I can't beg a date, well, Vicky. Well, now we have a clip of you here. Oh, that, you do. It looks rather promising. Oh, let's, let's take okay. a look. Go let's, ahead. Let's take a look at Steve on General Hospital. Oh, Jason, they're so big and pearly and white. Yeah, well, they might look that way from that distance. You're right. Come a little closer. Let me take a better look at him. Come here. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here a little closer. I, I just need to get a, a look at him. Oh, wait a minute. We might have a problem here. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No, they're gorgeous. What? <laughs> actually a date? No, actually that was a, a fantasy and they yelled cut right after so I had to get out of the tub. So you were still a, you were still a virgin after that scene? Oh, oh yeah. Hon, it was probably the hot water. It's uh, <laughs> kind of put a damper actually, was, on everything. Yeah. Now what about you? How, how's your uh, character? Well I've been working on a relationship for probably about two and a half years now on the show and we were just about to get married. Yeah, right. When all kind of circumstances just keep getting in the way so um... I'm you guys are you're both good guys, right? Yes, yes unfortunately. And, too good sometimes. Too good. 
Really? Do you not oh. like being good guys? How good am I? It's disgusting. It's nice to have your hands, um, you yeah. know, in some uh, maniacal stuff every now and then. Yeah? It's fun. Keeps it interesting. Yeah. So you're, you're can't, you can't get married because everything is getting in the way? Yes. Uh, the first there, well, there was this... Oh, boy, do you want me to just give it in a nutshell? Let's see how, how I can do. Sure. Ryan Chamberlain came on the show. He was trying to kill Felicia. Uh, His wife. Future my, wife. My future fiancé. We had just met. We were friends. Well, I was trying to find out what caused Felicia's amnesia. In the long run, it turned out to be Ryan Chamberlain, who was really a psychopath killer um, who wanted to date Felicia. We took all this time to finally capture Ryan, put him in jail, when all of a sudden his identical twin brother, Kevin, shows up from Europe. <laughs> from Kevin Europe. starts his relationship once again with uh, Ryan. Ryan switches places with Kevin right before our wedding. Ryan comes to our wedding strapped with dynamite, just about to blow everything up when I, we, we all know Who it's Ryan. Who has time for romance after you Exactly, it was this. exhausting. When do you fit this stuff in? Let's take a look at you in action, big guy. Right there, John. Shall I stay? Or would it be this? deal with all of that? I don't know. How does Miss Vicky deal with all that? I mean, that? that's got to be hard she's to watch. She's usually out taking uh, Skylar places, taking her to gym classes, so she doesn't watch too often. But to be honest, it's difficult for someone you love to watch, you know, to kiss another person. Yeah. It would be very difficult for me to watch Vicky kiss somebody else. Thank God I don't have to do it. But I give her a lot of credit, and she's very supportive, and um, I love her to death for it. But now, you're pretty open about saying that you think flirting is a, a part of Hollywood. Flirting is definitely a part of Hollywood. In fact, um, when I first came out here, and maybe this has happened to you, Steve, but yes, um, I was working in a uh, restaurant as a host, greeting people, seating them at tables, and a, a woman came in, sat at the bar, and we struck up a conversation. She sat around for a couple drinks, and she took off. Uh, the bar was closing at about, or the restaurant was closing at 1.30, and the phone rang, and it was this uh, producer. And she wanted to know if I wanted to come over and uh, read some scripts with her. Audition, all right. So, um, well. Read some scripts. <laughs> Have you had things like that happen to you, Stu? Uh, Are women yeah. just that blatant in this town? Well, I, it, it, it's happened. It, I think it happens pretty much to every yeah. young actor who comes to Hollywood. They, they go through at least a few of those people before they... It's some legitimacy. You don't have one you'd like to share with no, us? No, thank you. Thank you really. <laughs> well, I, I can't. I'm just, well, now, is there anything upcoming on General Hospital that you really want to tell us? Something really juicy that nobody knows yet, and yeah. you're going to let it out of the bag here? <gasps> yes. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to get a love interest. Well, it's about time, thank Steve. Goodness. And I am going to lose my virginity one day soon. So, on the show. So I was thinking if you could bring Well, you're your getting on in years, so I think yes. it's probably time. I'm the oldest one on, on GS. Right. How old are you, hon? Because you're young enough we can still ask. 23. Oh, sweet. The oldest oh, one to, not to, to be a virgin. Have virgin huh? Yeah. Yeah, Virginity. the oldest living virgin. You heard it here, America. Yes. When we return, three of uh, Playgirl's boys next door are going to prove that they are more than just pretty to look at. This is daytime television, but uh, <clears throat> you'll see what we, mean, what we mean when we come back. When we come back. <laughs> Jay York and Steve Burton, whom we all know as Mac, and Jason on General Hospital. And we're celebrating the world of Playgirl magazine. I'd like to introduce one of the hunks that you can actually see. Uh, he, he sure did bear it all in the July 93 edition. Here he is, Rich James. <laughs>
Thank is you. That a, uh, is that a hobby it's, or? Uh... Yeah, it's a hobby. I haven't done it for a while, but. Uh, do you have it? You did no. pretty well there, because that a keeps you bit in really a, good you know, shape, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So what do you do in real life? Um, um, construction, mostly drywall, uh, the taping and texturing part of it. It's, it's all right. Yeah. The building from where I'm from is busy, so. Yeah. Now, you posed in 1993 at the YMCA? <laughs> Yeah, in a Glendale. Oh, in Glendale. Yeah. Well, that explains it. What, yeah. we, but at the YMCA, huh? Was that yeah. embarrassing? Well, we closed it all off. and. Um, so you, like, didn't have to deal with the village yeah. people or anything yeah, like no, that? Yeah, no. Because that could be no, horrible. No, yeah. it, it was okay. We, you know, blocked up a lot of the windows, and there was nobody in so there. So it was a good so. experience for you, yeah. yeah? You'd do it again? Um, yeah, maybe. Would you? <laughs> Do you have another little demo for us? Yeah, gonna... I, I, I wanted you to help spot me doing a standing back tuck. Oh, okay. So, so what you need to do is put uh, your hand on my lower back. Yeah. And you might want to set this down. Oh, okay. But you you have to speak into my chest or nobody can okay, hear you, put huh? Hand up, and put your hand and put... And one hand right there. I'm like, what, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh, hot. Yeah, you did good. You, you did good. Walk right over that way. Thanks, hon. Okay, now next up, I am told that our next Playgirl playmate. Oh, see you later, Rich. Our next uh, uh, Playgirl playmate isn't afraid to reveal his lizard on national TV. I don't know. We'll see. Here he is, Steve Reinhardt. Uh, no, he's not too friendly. He's but, not too friendly? But you can pat him. I got him. What is school. his name? Uh, he's Junior. Junior? Is he yeah. going to get big? Yeah, he'll be a senior. Can you? Are you Mike? Yeah, I think so. Oh, good. I'm good. You have a mic. I'm not too crazy about getting too terribly close. He doesn't close. have one. <laughs> what do you do in real life? Well, I'm a biochemist, and I've worked as a biologist for a while. And now, how'd you uh, get into lizards? Well, I um, had a job at the nuclear plant down in Miami, and uh, they built their nuclear plant on a, their, his habitat. And crocodiles. So I was catching crocodiles and tagging them as part of my job and making sure they were all right. And... So making sure that they didn't get nuked. Right. So what does he eat, Steve? Um, whatever wanders his way, really. But uh, <laughs> I feed him chicken and uh, it's hot dogs every now and then. I'm feeling hot dogs. like a chicken myself right now. So <laughs> I. <laughs> now listen, tell us about mommy's reaction to you being in Playgirl. Oh, uh, well. She was about as mean as this alligator, I guess. Was she, she really? Did yeah, she get she upset with you? Really upset. She didn't. Honestly, she didn't talk to me for about three months. Now, where does mom live? She lives in Miami too. Two also. Also. So you guys live near each other, or? Well, I was living somewhere else, but the hurricane destroyed my place, so I moved back home. So I was living at home at the time. When the, when you posed, you were living at home with yeah. mom, and she didn't speak to you for two months. About three this months. This would yeah. be the answer to Garrett's prayers, honest <laughs> to God. You're not yeah, speaking to me bad. for three wasn't, months. This yeah, is totally cool. This is great. <laughs> so now you're going to be a biochemist when you grow up someday. True. Good for you. <laughs> well, thank you for being here, and you can take your lizard away All now, right. hon. Thank you, thank Steve. You. Once a boy next door, but he now holds the title of Mr. Nude Universe. Here he is, Chris Michaels. Chris! Chris! Hey, you have a mic on, don't you, hon? Now, Chris, how are you, hon? What in the... Oh, stop with that music. What exactly does one have to do to become Mr. Nude Universe? <laughs> I mean, aside you from the You have to be in the right spot at the right time. I was at a club and... I was performing, taking my clothes off, being a male stripper, and they just happened to have uh, a contest for Mr. Nude Universe, and I went in the contest and I won it. But so you have to, you have to do what, like all those poses and stuff in no, when you're starkers, or you have to more or less perform, act, do a good show. I mean, they they judge you on quality, character, style, showmanship. But you, you physique. Do, you have that extra muscle well, to yeah, yeah. Flex <laughs> too, right? Yeah, I was there. I was. Um, yeah, we had to bear all and. Do now, what do you do could. in real life for a living? I'm a bartender, work at a club called Fusions, and I'm a student. Of? 
Um, right now I'm practicing physical therapy or massage. I'm not sure I'm in my prerequisites. Oh, so I'm okay, just so you probably want to practice go something into... on me. Well, yeah, I've learned something. I want to just kind of, if you want to lay on the table here, I wish we had a pillow we could put your... What are your choices? <laughs> physical therapy or what? Or massage therapy. Okay, I'll let you know. So anyways, then. what we're going to do is we're going to work on the lower back. No, God, I'm going to watch your microphone there. there. And... What are you laughing at? This is, this is more or less... <laughs> You're just jealous. <laughs> Always working an upward motion. That's Thinking good. Back and forth. It's kind of hard with this good. thing that you have on here now. Uh huh. We're gonna do the thumb roll over, but what we're doing is working the lower part of the back where the erectors are, and in this section right here. <laughs> Stop laughing. And in this section here, I mean, this is great if you're at home with a partner or something. Uh huh. Hopefully, it's somebody you know really well, because if you massage this area too much, yeah, it's where you have the. Uh, you could ruin your erectors. You could ruin your erectors. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but if you're working this part here a little bit too much. Uh huh. There's the uh, parasympathetic nerves, and these in this section here, if you rub them too much, you could become sexually aroused. So it's great, like I said, if you have a partner at home and you want to do this. I mean, I wish I had a partner that would do this with me. It'd be great, so. But if you're working this part here, like, like yeah. I said, if you go home and your husband decides to give you a massage, tell him to work on your uh, parasympathetic on nerve. On my erector. Yeah, and, and <laughs> in the erector section, right here in the lower in, section. In my erector section. Okay, hon. <laughs> Thank Are you enjoying you. this? I am. It's Are great. You? It would be okay. better if I didn't have this big old honking suit yeah. on, but what the hell. Hey, listen up, guys. Next, we are going to meet the woman who chooses the Playgirl Centerfolds, plus live and in person, Playgirl's pride and glory, the man of the year, Doug Koziak, when we come back. Fabulous. <laughs> the celebrities who have graced the pages of Playgirl magazine. My co-hosts from General Hospital, Hospital also belong to that group. They are John J. York and Steve Burton. And now joining us is the woman who determines which men and how much of them get onto Playgirl's pages. She's the editor-in-chief, Charmian <laughs> Carl. job, huh? Now, Charmian, uh, uh, what is it that women want in a, uh, uh, this kind of a magazine, an erotic magazine, that men don't? Is there a big difference, do you think? Well, obviously, they have to be very attractive, but I think that, that women really want to know the true story about the man. Uh -huh. um, I think that they look for the, the um, overall package. Um, <laughs> no, 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 be nice. <laughs> They, they, well, you're not talking just physical. Not you, just physical, you, yeah. yeah. The, the men, I think the story of the man goes, and the story of the man and the, the photo set usually amplifies what they do in real life. Yeah. Like Rich um, is a gymnast, so we shot him in the gym. Uh huh. And so it's not this made up kind of fluff piece. Right. It's not just to look at the. Uh, Who reads the your magazine? It's a wide variety of women, everyone from 18 years old, a college student, to to women that are executives. Really? Housewives in between. A lot of a lot of women. Yeah. How do you go about choosing the centerfolds? A lot of the photographers that around the country send me pictures of the men and then uh, some men send in pictures of themselves and then every and once in a while. But you have the job. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's <laughs> a lot of fun. It is. Well, now, how come you don't ever pick anybody that's older? I'm looking for them. Because like, like everybody is... I know, they're around... You're looking for them? I well, am. A lot of gorgeous older guys out well, there. Well, then send in your pictures, please. I'd be thrilled to yeah. get men in there. Well, what is older? I, I want to be PC here. Uh, 40s <sighs> and 50s, I'd be thrilled. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be great. I'm, I'm, I'm open, open to that. I just, I seem to get these, these pups that come in, which yeah. is fine. They're, they're gorgeous, uh -huh. but men are sexy. On, in fact, we have a 79-year-old. Centerfold? Not a centerfold. He's Cent in the real men's section. He sent in his picture of the man. He's in fantastic shape. These aren't real men here. No, no right, these, these are our celebrities. Make, these are make-believe But they are, they are real men. They you just... But you did have a 79-year-old. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Did he undress yes, for the magazine? Yes, he did. In all his oh, glory. She wasn't that bad. <laughs> no <laughs> kidding? No, you didn't even pose nude. She's saying the 79-year-old horn dog yeah. just kind of yeah. <laughs> sweat it all hang out, right. huh? And he, he had a, a Phantom of the Opera mask on his face, so he's, it was, it's very funny. But uh, it's, hey, you got to give the guy credit, and he looks good. And hey, I'm listen, sure if you don't use it, you lose it, you know? <laughs> well, he can use it. He can use it. 
People. Well, good, Charlie. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for sharing. It's amazing, isn't yes. it? Yes. So uh, let's bring out now the Playgirl centerfold, uh, centerfold, voted most desirable by the Playgirl readers. He is 1994's Man of the Year. Here is Doug Koziak. <laughs> Man of the year. Man of the year. You are just a little bee tadpole. <laughs> yeah, How old are you? I'm uh, 20. <laughs> 20 years well, old. Well, you're just barely a man. <laughs> Getting there. Still what going is through that, puberty. What does that feel like to be man of the year, Playgirl? Uh, it's. Has it changed your life? Mm, no, not really. I think I'm not still yet. the same Doug that I was before. Just now, more worldly, a little now, jaded. Now, what were you thinking when you did this? Um. Where supposed, were you? Where was I? Yeah. When I did my first layout? Yeah, I mean, were you a student or yeah, were you Yeah, I was a student or... at, uh, at UConn, mm -hmm. and uh, a friend of mine set me up with a local photographer who was taking pictures for, uh, for Playgirl. His name was Dimitri Halkidis. He lives in Stanford, um, where I'm from, and they set up a trip for me. We went to uh, Jamaica, and we did the layout on the beach, and it was... Uh... Were you embarrassed? Was it mm -hmm. hard? I mean, yeah, it was a little bit. I was getting there. It's <laughs> not what I meant. I meant, was it difficult? Was it difficult? Embarrassing. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Was it difficult, hon? Not really. You just have to be uh, comfortable with yourself. Yeah. I mean, just you have, if you're, you know, if you're not embarrassed to take off your clothes, then it, it, it wasn't tough now. Yeah. If you're not yeah. embarrassed to take off your... I have your little fact <laughs> sheet here. Oh, boy. That you uh, f filled out. Six, uh, six, and a half, six feet, uh, one half inch, 185 uh -huh. pounds, hair, lots of it. That would be true. Yeah. June 28th is your birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, turn offs. Ignorant people. Little moppy dogs that smell funky. <laughs> <laughs> and women with high hair and attitude problems. <laughs> That about sums it up, yeah. What, you, what I look for in a woman. Two eyes, broad hips, and a good set of teeth. <laughs> Doesn't take much to make me happy. I was guess the same. That's the same way you buy a horse, yeah. actually. <laughs> nice muscle tone. Yeah. Now, listen, you're a single guy, yeah? I'm single, yeah. Are you looking for? What, do you, what seriously looking, are you looking always for? Always looking. Um... Like I said, it's it's uh, really no, just there's dependent no on one the... particular type. No, that I don't you have look a type. For. I can't say that I like you know skinny people, fat people, people with long hair, short hair. It's you know it really depends on the personality. Now, what do you think you're going to be when you grow up? Seriously, I want to be a doctor. You want to be a doctor? No, no. <laughs> what do um, you want to be really? Really, I think a maybe... model. That's what I'm doing right now. A, a, a topaz man or topaz a, uh, man. a uh, who is that? I'm who is doing... that, Charmian? It's topaz man. Oh, okay. Topaz I'm not losing it yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I thought it would be fun to take a little survey here and see if there are any women in the audience that might like to date you. Is there anybody out here that might be interested? Raise your hands. <laughs> no, I'm, ser I'm serious. Raise your hands because later on we are going to choose one of you, one of you lucky folks, not you, sir. <laughs> One of you lucky girls is going to get to go on a date with this guy. Let's see those hands. Come on. Not you, you crazy old man. <laughs> okay, we've got a, a few girls. We're going to, we'll get, we'll, we'll get them to, come on, give it up, girls. You know you want to. <laughs> uh, I think it's only fair that we fulfill a few fantasies for our co-hosts when we come back, because we're going to fulfill one for the audience later. We'll be back with more. about to choose Playgirl's August centerfold. We are not only going to judge the finalist bodies, but their minds as well by asking each one of them a thought-provoking question. Afterward, the audience is going to pick the winner by their applause. So pay attention, you guys. Let's start with contestant number one. Here he is. This is Tasman. Come out, Tasman. We're... Oh! 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 Tasman 
is 5 foot 10. He weighs 165 pounds, chest 42, waist 30, inseam 31. He's a lead guitarist with Bogus Tom's group, and he also, he also makes bonsai trees. Interesting, girls. Uh, Roman Catholic. Does your mother know what you're doing here? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Uh, okay, now, John, do you have a question to, to yes. ask Tasman? Yes, I do. Finalist number one, answer this question. Women like sensitive men. What are some of the things that make you cry? Getting hit with a pan in the head. <laughs> good answer, good answer. Well, thank you very much, Tasman. I, I guess that would mean he's not dreadfully sensitive. <laughs> I would have thought that he would have at the least said that your Robin Hood scene made him cry. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't easy being green, John. I thought you did that very well. All right, contestant number two is Aaron Trigueros. Aaron, come on out. pounds, chest 46, waist 31, inseam 32. Ouch. He is a laid-off aircraft engineer turned exotic dancer and model. Well, it's a jungle out there, isn't it, hon? You gotta do what you gotta Good do. Good heavens. Uh, who's got the question? Who's got the question? Steve, do you have I a question do, Vicky. for him? All right, Steve. Thank Fire you very away. much, Vicky. A question for finalist number two. What is one thing about yourself you wish was better and why? Mm. One thing I wish was better, and why? My financial status. Uh, <laughs> and why? So I could uh, enjoy and do things that I'd, I'd rather be doing than working hard for a living. You, mean like what you, you and everybody else. I, I guess that's it, Aaron, unless you have something else you'd like to add. Well, just one thing, if you don't mind. Yeah? Maestro? Yeah? Thank you, Aaron. I had to ask. <laughs> ask and ye shall receive. It's one of those kind of days. Contestant number three is Rob Shanahan. Ro <laughs> Incidentally, used to fight in the Golden Gloves. He's 27 years old, blonde hair, blue eyes, six feet tall, weighs 190 pounds, chest 42, waist 32, inseam 33. Mm. He is a drummer, an actor, and a model. And, and I have the question for you, Rob. <clears throat> Here we go. After sex, many men are inconsiderate slobs. <laughs> They just fall asleep and ignore their partner. How are you different? That is a great question. Thank you, Rob. Who says it ends? Mm -hmm. Oh! Rob. Well, our audience has a lot of thinking to do. Now, all you guys come back out here. Come on, we got voting to do. I hope you all have been paying close attention here. This is a momentous decision, you guys. This is the August centerfold. Excuse me. Is it going to be finalist? You were number one, weren't you, hon? Number one? I'm listening. Number two? Number three. Hun! By a knockout! By a knockout, Rob! 
Bob Shanahan. Hey, how exciting is this? Very exciting. Well, thanks, you guys. <laughs> Thank you. So now, oh, oh, this is too exciting. So now, are you going to go out and shoot with him where? Uh, in a boxing ring or something, absolutely. probably. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Hey, listen, uh, before we go away, uh, Doug, you need to get out in the audience and collect the names of all these gals who want to go out on a possible date with you. So you better get out there and get... Girls, hold your cards up. Hold your cards up so Doug can see them. Now, the deal is, though, you need something to collect the cards in. Uh, what are you going to collect the cards I'll in? I'll be the bingo ball. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're just going to put them right there in your... Uh, okay. Well... I guess this Thanks. means that when we come back, I'll be, uh, I'll be putting my hand down uh, his shirt to find out who our eligible our girl's going to be that's going to date him. We'll be back to see who, uh, who gets a date with Doug when we return. <laughs> Meet women who turned their imagination into millions. Workout queen Kathy Smith, cookie mogul Debbie Fields, and best-selling author Judith Krantz. Super women on the next Vicky. We're, uh, I want to talk to you guys for just a minute about upcoming projects. Anything new we want to talk about, Steve? You got a new movie? Uh, yeah, actually, it's a, uh, action-adventure movie, science fiction type, with, uh, light heavyweight kickboxing champion Don Wilson for PM Entertainment. It's called Cyber tracker and it should be out on hbo this spring hopefully good for you so pretty excited and john you're uh, you're involved in charity work are you i do charity? a lot of work with the uh, crohn's and colitis foundation of america and they have a national office that's in new york uh, there's a lot of people that suffer with uh, those diseases around the country and if they're interested there's an 800 number i think it's 800-932-2423 so if anybody needs help um, there's a lot of people out there that would like to help so thank you for asking that's a yeah, nice pet project good Ma'am, I would like to know what was the motivation to do this? To do to pose? Yeah, in the magazine, the winner of 1994. Or who, 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 are you talking Amanda about? Doug? Oh, you're talking about Doug. Right. What was his motivation? To do it. Right. Uh, do you get just, paid for this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it <laughs> is it a decent amount of money, or is it it's, like not really worth discussing? So poor man's fortune. It's it's decent. Yeah. It's yeah. Good. Was that the motivation? Partly that, since I was a poor college kid, and um, and just because I felt comfortable doing it. It was uh, an opportunity. I wasn't going to let it pass me by. I mean, even if it didn't lead to anything else, at least I could show my grandchildren. <laughs> Look, this is me. <laughs> there I am. Question? Does the public ever recognize you from the magazines? Uh, I think they might, but they don't approach me. It's just giggles, basically. Now, did you go back to school <laughs> after you posed? Uh, or did no. you stay out here? No. So you didn't have to deal with the girls on campus? No. Mm -hmm. What did you guys' friends think after you did this? Uh, like people on the set? Well, actually, I think everyone GH has uh, done it pretty much. It, yeah, they're proud. Real, you really? know, it's good for the show. Yeah, it's, it's, it's publicity just, for the show. Uh, it's great you know, It's a woman's magazine. Sure, my what? what? Miss oh, Vicky? Vicky? Oh, there's Vicky. Miss Vicky, what, yes. do you, what did you think of this? Uh, I'm very proud of him, uh, as long as it was done with in good taste, and it was. Yeah. He didn't reveal too much, right. and it was okay. Now, what about, see, for me, it would be harder to watch him doing those love scenes than yes. it would to be to look at a picture. Yes, I agree. So what do you do? <laughs> do you watch, what do you do? Sometimes I watch it, uh, and I, I tease him, but I, on the whole, I really don't watch it too often. <laughs> because it's hard to watch. Because it's hard to watch, and it's embarrassing you're watching your husband in a love scene with somebody you else. You trust those leading ladies implicitly, do you? Oh, yes. yes. You do? Yeah. How long are you guys married? We're going on eight years. Seven really? years. Eight years? Eight years. I don't like to watch either. John is your son. And I don't like to watch those love scenes. Either. You don't? Thanks, Mom. That's Mom. You were the first one You were the first one ever to do a little love scene with, with him. him. Yes. Oh, That's right. Oh, come on. All right, well, now, listen. It's time to pick that big date, Doug, so I need to... Where, oh, did you really collect the things in your... Yeah, uh... they're all collected. Let me <laughs> shake. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I guess I sort of need a drawer. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to reach in and choose the winner. Remember, the winner will get dinner for two at Gladstone's at Universal City Walk. And the big winner is going to be Karen Santoro! Thinking 
when you did that. <laughs> doesn't that hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. Look, you've got to show America Where? that thing. Where, where is it? Show them. Well, just America? show them on a camera oh, here, one of the cameras. <laughs> For heaven's sakes. And I was traumatized when I had my ears pierced, huh? How would you kiss with that? I don't know. Why don't you give it a try? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't look at me. I can't deal with it. Hmm? Oh, we didn't see it. Turn around right there in that camera, Doug. In this one here? Oh. Here you go. There it is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We'll take a break. I need a break now. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> How would you compare uh, posing for Playgirl as opposed to a woman play posing for Playboy? Well, you mean as far as what advantages or, uh, or? advantages, disadvantages? Um, how Hel they, how helping your career, not helping. Who are you asking? Uh, anyone in general. You want to answer, Charmaine? Um, sure. I think that that um, when you're brave enough to do this and comfortable enough to do it, and you get publicity such as this or. Um, newspaper articles, whatever, interviews, it does help. It does has help it helped you? Career. Doug, has it helped you as far as like maybe getting modeling yeah, jobs yeah, and that the kind first, of stuff? The first layout that I did in Jamaica got me started off with uh, Click Modeling Agency. Uh -huh. And from there, I've been in uh, like GQ and uh, 17 YM, a lot of other magazines, Macy's, Flyers, stuff like that. Now, if you, if you do want to pose in the magazine, what do we do? Send you, oh, no, not we, but I mean, you, you <laughs> send in what, Polaroids, Sean? Yeah, Polaroids that... are fine, uh, snapshots, whatever, so I can get a, a good view of the face and the, and the chest uh -huh. and um, send it to Playgirl Magazine. And then magazine. how soon would that happen? If you saw somebody you really liked, how soon would that happen? It can happen in a matter of two, three weeks. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you all. I want to thank my special co-hosts today from General Hospital, John J. York and Steve Burton. Uh, thank you, thank you to Charmian and uh, the Man of the Year, Playgirl Centerfold. And we're going to be watching for Rob Shanahan in August. Congratulations, hon. There you are. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day.